All of us gardeners have been waiting all winter for the chance to get out there and start digging. But before you do, there's a few things to think about, right, Sabina? Yes, a good way to start your, to prepare your flower bed is to add extra peat moss to retain extra moisture in the hot summer days, and also some sheep or cow manure, as a, which works as a slow release fertilizer. So whatever you plant will have a really good chance. Yes, you give it a good start and your work is a lot more rewarding. Right, okay, so now you have to decide what type of plant you need for your conditions. Yes, there are three different conditions that is full sun or hot afternoon sun, morning sun, which is the most favorable one because you can plant plants for, for the shade, but also plants for just sun go in morning sun locations and then the shady locations where they where they got only two to three hours of sun per day. All right so let's start with the full sun then. What can we Full grow? sun are the different cosmos are working very well. The zinnias of course geraniums always work well. Then the nicotianas which is the ornamental tobacco. Mm. We grow them in big plucks and you can easily plant them one and a half feet apart and then you stagger them and in three, four weeks they have filled the flower bed and it looks beautiful for the rest of the summer. Good affordable option. And the same with the snapdragons. The snapdragons even take cooler temperatures in the fall and are as beautiful as in the peak of the summer. Okay, morning sun then. Morning sun, all of them work as well. And then for the deep shade we have of course the impatience, the double impatience, the different coleus, the um, different begonias. You can make a spectacular shade garden as well. Okay, next week, something that's sure to be popular this summer, vegetable gardens. 